Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you uh, to talk about today's uh, Champions League slate. Um, it's been a while since I made the you know a soccer video, but now we're finally back from the international break. As you may have heard, um, you know the World Cup uh, qualifiers are done. Now they had a group drawing, and then now the main World Cup tournament is going to start later this year. So, you know, with all those settled, um, now players can focus on their club matches. And one of them is uh, the U U U UEFA Champions League tournament. Um, today, we have a two-game slate. Um, Manchester City is a favorite at minus 333 um, over Atletico Madrid. I fully expect Man City to dominate the match, at home especially. Um, and then the next match, is, the other match is Benfica uh, versus Liverpool, where Liverpool is on the road, but still a favorite at minus uh, 250. So both EPL teams and their respective matchups are the favorite, and they should be. Obviously, Manchester City and Liverpool have been the best two teams, top two teams in the EPL, and they love to possess the ball and dominate possession. So I, you know, actually think for DFS purposes, I do think Man City and Liverpool stacks would be optimal. And frankly, you should have at least some of the pieces from those two favorites, in my opinion. And on a two game slate, um, you can get pretty crazy by playing the underdogs, underdog players um, like from Atletico Madrid or Benfica. But I'd say the majority of lineup should be consisted of uh, Man City and Liverpool players. Um, obviously, with pricing, it's going to be a little tough. Um, but um, but yeah, let's dive in as to what I who I think should be the four players, um, and then who I have um, you know who I think they have upside um, for GPP purposes as well. So, like I said, Manchester City versus Atletico Madrid. Uh, Man City is a favorite at minus three thirty three. Um, you know, really Man City goes as the KD, as KDB goes, Kevin De Bruyne. So he, he's the, you know, first piece that you want to start with if you are building an optimal lineup. Now for GPP, you can get crazy and fade him um, because obviously he'll be the highest owned guy along with Riyad Mahrez. Um, those two, these two guys um, tend to take the majority of the set pieces, um, but also love to cross the ball. Um, probably love to cross the ball the most among, amongst the, the projected starting 11 players here for Man City. So I would start with those two or one or the other or fade. I, I'd say you have to have at least one of them in every lineup. Um, I think optimally you want to have both, but for GPP, I can definitely see a way, a path where you fade one of them and then hopefully a lower priced Man City player like Silva, Grealish, Foden, or even Rodri, or even Cancelo. I mean, these guys are really, um, they do have the goal scoring upside, in my opinion. Um, obviously, with the Foden and Grealish starting up top, they have the highest goal scoring probabilities amongst them all. Um, but Bernardo Silva has been in pretty good form. And then Cancelo loves to, uh, you know, go down the flank and cut cut back inside and shoot the ball as well as cross the ball on the outside. So Cancelo loves to make plays even on the offensive side. So I think he is the best rated fullback um, in on the slate um, today. So he'll be an interesting asset to uh, play around with. And then on the other side of the matchup, it's really Atletico Madrid. Um, it starts with uh, um, Joao Felix, in my opinion, because he's been in such good form. Um, but I, like I said, they're gonna, they're not gonna have the ball um, very, very much throughout the game because Man City loves to possess the ball. So I, I fully expect like 60% possession for Man City at least, um, and then 40% possession for Atletico Madrid. So really, like if you are playing Atletico Madrid guys, make you are chasing their goals. If you think Atletico Madrid on a counterattack will score a goal, draw Felix would probably be my best bet. Um, and then maybe on the assist side, you can go with Rodrigo De, De Paul or Llorente or Lamar crossing the ball or making a play. Um, but I would not touch any of the fullbacks, in my opinion, for Atletico Madrid because they'll have to sit back and defend against Man City, who will constantly, uh, you know, march forward. And Lottie, like Lottie would be a good choice um, 
in any other game, really. But against Man City, it's going to be a tough matchup for them, for these fullbacks, for Salco and then Lottie to, you know, they'll be forced to uh, sit back a little more than usual. So, like I said, if you are playing Atletico Madrid, guys, you're playing for GPP and you're playing for, you know, you're, you're chasing their goals. Um, and like I said, Joel Felix has been in good form in, in that um, regard. Um, so I would focus him and then any of the midfielder guys, really, um, you know, who you think will get an assist. But if, if I have to bet, I mean, if, I think Rodrigo De Paul and then Joe Rente have been in good form and then Lamar maybe after that. So, yeah. So that's the first matchup. Like I said, I fully expect Man City to win. So I definitely want to get two or three pieces uh, from Man City at least. Um, and then maybe two or three pieces from Liverpool at least um, in the next matchup, which I'll talk about here. Like I said, Liverpool is, but on the road, um, they're, they're favorite at minus 250, but they, they are on the road, unlike Man City. So it may be a tougher matchup for Liverpool, but I still fully expect Liverpool to dominate possession. Um, I think Benfica has been a good team so far in the in the Champions League tournament. Obviously, they've made it this far, um, but Liverpool is a whole another animal um, to to play against. And Liverpool, like I said, they they will dominate possession. So for DFS purposes, that's why I'm emphasizing that you need to have at least two three players from Liverpool, and they all start with their fullbacks, um, TAA, and then Andrew Robertson. So uh, Alexander Arnold and Robertson, they both take corners um, from each side. Um, they love to cross the ball. They love to take set pieces. They really take all crossing and set piece. They obviously that translates into chance, you know, scoring chance opportunities and they are, you know, often on the end of um, getting an assist or, or a goal. So, you know, really they, they're really good picks. I think most likely people in optimal setting, you want to have both of them. Um, but, you know, I think for GPP, you can definitely fade one of them, hoping that the other one, you know, only takes maybe three, four set pieces, corners, and then really don't, doesn't really do much throughout the rest of the game. I mean, I see a pass. I mean, that has happened before. Um, so and if I were to choose between the two, I mean, I'd have to go with Alexander Arnold because, he takes free kicks, um, more free kicks than Robertson. Um, but Robertson actually has been in decent form as well um, recently. So really, I mean, you know, just given the pricing, I think Robertson is a little bit cheaper, but um, I think they're both good options. And then obviously on the offensive side, Salah, it starts with Salah. I know he's very expensive, <laughs> but he is Salah is Salah. I mean, he. He also takes penalty kicks, but he also, eh, he may not. Fabinho take, took the last one last game, but I think Salah might have been uh, injured or off out of the game by the time but Fabinho took it. Anyway, so Salah has been in, you know, decent form. He loves to take shots. He loves to uh, make plays. But, you know, like I said, Liverpool goes uh, as Salah and then their fullbacks go. Um, so I like, I like Salah as well. But for pricing, it's going to be tough. You kind of have to make a choice between Salah versus Man City players like Kevin De Bruyne, Ria Mares, and Salah. So I think that's going to be an interesting um, choice, selection between, between those players. Um, but I have to prefer Man City players over Liverpool because Man City is at home and Man City has been playing a bit better um then Liverpool in my opinion uh in the EPL so but then um for GPP purposes Liverpool has good GPP uh um plays like Jota I mean he scored last time out and he looks like he looks like he was regaining his form um he looked really good he had a good header last game last time he was he was out on the pitch um so like I like Jota and then also Mane has been playing well. Uh, Mane um, has been playing well. So those two strikers up there. And then, I mean, the midfield, it's really a crapshoot, in my opinion. Um, any of them can score. I've seen Henderson go off. I've seen Fabinho go off, even though he is going to be more forced to play in the defensive central midfielder role. Um, but I've seen where, you know, he gets on the end of a shot, you know, or off of a deflection by one of these uh, three strikers here. 
And then Thiago has been the most dynamic player in the midfield in the in the midfield. So if I have to choose, I would have to go with Thiago, Henderson, and then Fabinho. But Fabinho is the cheapest. So, you know, obviously for pricing purposes, Fabinho could be higher in ownership. And then for on the Benfica side, which I think they always struggle the most. Um, and obviously they have the do they have the biggest odds? No, Atletico Madrid has the it's the biggest underdog. But Benfica has been, like I said, has been playing well. Um, if I if I were to go uh, um, Benfica pieces, like I said, I think you are also chasing goals. So Darwin Nunez, and then I really like Gilberto. But like I said, as fullbacks of the biggest big underdog against a ball dominant team like Liverpool, um, I think Gilberto, Gilberto, and then Grimaldo will sit back as well. So I wouldn't touch any of them unless pricing requires you to do so. So like I said, if you're chasing goals, Nunez, um, Gonzalo, yeah, Ramos, maybe. But I, I'd say I prioritize Nunez and then Rafa Silva. Those are probably the top two guys that I would focus on. And then maybe Ramos after that. So anyway, so yeah, I say I fully expect Liverpool and Man City to win both uh, in, in, their both, uh, in their respective games. Um, so it's, I think it's going to be a pretty chalky slate, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, crazy, crazier things have happened, as you guys know. So, um, but yeah, those are the core players that I would focus on. Um, I would, I will share my um, uh, comments as to, you know, what the form, when the formation and the starter uh, confirmation come out um, one hour before the, before the slate, so it'll be 2 p.m. Eastern time. So I will share those and yeah, good luck everybody. And if you guys have any questions about certain players or certain player, players' tendencies or, you know, what, uh, any injury status, I, I have all of that as well. Um, but this is a projected starting lineup, uh, given, you know, taking all that into account. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to chat soccer, let me know. And yeah, I'll be on Discord and YouTube and Twitter and all that. So reach out at DFS Chan. If you uh, like the video, please hit the like button. It would mean a lot to us. And then also hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to see other videos. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.